Let's learn how to place Illustrator guides in exact positions in this quick and simple tutorial. So I'm just going to quickly create a new web document. I'm going to set a width of a thousand and a height of 800. It's important to remember these dimensions so that you can use them for reference when setting your guides. So RGB 72. So to start adding my guides, I'm going to simply go to view rulers and show rulers. And then I'm going to go to view guides and I'm going to make sure unlock guides is the mode I'm on. That way I can continue to adjust the guides. So once I'm ready, I can start dragging my guides out onto my canvas as such. Now, if I want to put these in an exact position, there's a few little techniques I can use. So the first one, Guides Unlocked, I can come in with my selection tool. So I'm going to simply select this guide here. From here, I need to find my transform panel. So it'll either be on the right hand side or you can go to Window, Transform. So let's say I want to add a 20 pixel guide around all sides of this document. I've got this guide selected. So in my X axis, which is my width, I'm going to select 20 pixels. So I've got a 20 pixel guide there. Then I'm going to select this guide here again with the selection tool. Now for this one, because I've got a width of a thousand, I'm going to set a thousand minus 20. And then that will give me then my 20 pixel border. I'll do the same now on the Y axis. So let's drag two guides down. There you go. So use the selection tool, select this guide. I'm going to set my Y axis to 20. And then finally select the fourth guide. And remember now the height was 800. This is why it's important to remember the dimensions. So from here, I'm gonna set 800 minus 20, press enter. And there you go. I've now got my four guides set at 20 pixels. There's a few other things I can do as well. So let's just drag a few guides onto the canvas as such. Now I can use the align tools to align these to perfect spacing. So again, use the selection tool. I'm gonna to highlight these four guides and then I'm going to align to selection and I'm gonna distribute them perfectly as such. Or I can select them all and I can align them to the artboard and then again, distribute them and it will now distribute them across the size of the artboard. So let's just delete these. I can also add guides at set intervals. So let's drag one, two, three, four guides onto the canvas. So let's say I want to set guides at 50 pixel intervals. So what I can do again, selection tool, I'm going to select the first one, come into my transform panel, and I'm going to set 50 pixels. So there, let's move to 50. Now let's select the second guide. So instead now, I'm going to select 50, press shift and eight to get the multiply or the star. Multiply by two, that gives me 100, so there's my second. I can now repeat this with the third. So let's do 53, and finally my fourth guide, 50, star four. And say for example, I wanted to find the center point, I could drag out a guide, highlight this guide. Remember now the width of the document is 1000, so let's say width forward slash, or divide by two, and then that puts me right in the center. So I can do this for as many guides as, as I want, as many times as I like. So if I quickly zoom out, with the guides unlocked now, I can change and adjust these accordingly. It's also a good idea to turn on your smart guides. This will help you arrange them with guidance from Illustrator. This command to go back. And then finally then, once I'm happy with the guides and I'm ready to do my design, all I have to do is go to view, guides, and lock guides. And now if I come in with a selection tool, I can't select the guides anymore. So I can continue to design without the guides disrupting me. So there you have it. There's a few simple techniques you can use on the canvas to set your guides at exact precise points in an Illustrator document. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.